<laughs> this is just water. I just recycled the cup. Although it probably should be tea because I'm gonna be getting Shea tea. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and today I'm going to be talking about a few things that I'm not going to be buying and the reasons why. This is my first anti-haul. I've never done one of these before. I've done a video where I went through the products that I regret buying and I'll link that in the eye over here if you're kind of interested because it's kind of a similar concept. I've seen a few people do these kind of videos and I thought they were interesting because I think it gives you like an insight so we just don't think it's kind of worth the hype or worth your coin. These are just my opinions and it's nothing against the brand it's just the products that I don't really want to buy you know I try a lot of new stuff on my channel obviously I'm a very small person on YouTube so I don't get sent things literally everything I buy in my collection everything I've ever bought is with my own money it's easy to get overwhelmed with all of the launches that keep coming out every single day literally trend mood she she's got a job and a half <laughs> because there's always new launches from indie brands, from massive brands, and it is just oversaturated with products. But there are things that are cool, that are coming out, that are innovative, so it's always interesting to see new launches, but I need to be realistic with myself and not spend every single coin I have. <laughs> trying to be smart with what I spend my money on. Anyway, long intro and disclosure aside, before we get into any of the denied products, if you're new to the channel and you like a bit of makeup, then why not subscribe to the channel? All you need to do is hit the red subscribe button down below and the bell next to it, that way you'll get notified of all my future uploads. And if you like videos like this where we get down into the nitty gritty, then please leave a thumbs up on the video. This makeup look is coming up in a get ready with me by the way, so if you are curious, Stay tuned, that should be going up after this video. I'll link it in the eye if it is available already. Let's get into the product. Okay, so I have a long list here of things that I don't really wanna buy. The first product is actually something that I went in, I touched, I felt, I played with, and it was so beautiful, and I was so tempted, and I was going to buy it, but in the end, I decided not to. And that is the Huda Beauty Neons palettes. I'm probably gonna be like, but look at your makeup right now. Now I've seen these in person, I went to Harrods and they sell them there. I touched them, I felt them, the mattes felt amazing, but I didn't like the fact that it was three mini palettes. If that was like one palette all together with all of the neon colours, I may have been more inclined to buy it. I wanted certain colours from different palettes, but I didn't want to buy all of them. If you've watched any of my Huda videos where I've tried like the shimmers and things like that, I always find them troublesome and I can never really get the shimmers to work to my advantage. So if she just made like a bright palette of like the mattes, I would be so down with that. But yeah, they're just a bit expensive as well for a palette that I'm not necessarily going to use all the time. I am not one to put neon all over my lids all the time. This is a special occasion. I was feeling summery and also I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying in my house, chilling. <laughs> I guess it's good for people who are, you know, doing intricate looks, artistic looks with, you know, neon colors. For the average Joe, I just have to, you know, be realistic. I have a few other palettes on my list. The ABH Alyssa Edwards palette, I don't know. It just, to me when I looked at that palette, I just felt like there was a lot going on. And I feel like ABH's formula is a little bit problematic with fallout, sometimes with blending. And to pack that much color in with that formula, Personally, I don't think it's gonna work. And I already have palettes that have those kind of colors in it, so I'll keep my 45 pounds, whatever it is. <laughs> Thank you, next. Also, I was kind of disappointed by Jeffree Star's Jawbreaker collection. Pretty much the only thing that I would buy from that collection would be the nude liquid lipstick. The green's kind of cool, but I'm probably not gonna use it, so there's no point in me buying it. And also the palette, I just, it was just something missing from it. It looked kind of subdued and it wasn't really the pop that I was expecting. Also the mini palette I was confused by. There was just like a lot of colors in there that I didn't feel correlated together so those two are a no-go for me. I've been dying to get a Jeffree Star palette. I have been into Morphe. I felt the formula and oh my god it feels incredible. So soft. They never have blood sugar. Blue blood is not a palette for me. It's just well blue. <laughs> I don't really use blue eyeshadow unless I'm doing like a multi colorful look. I don't really use blue eyeshadow and I'm a pink kind of bitch. <laughs> now you guys know 
I love Makeup Revolution, they're one of my favourite brands. I pretty much have a full face of Makeup Revolution and more. I really love a lot of the things, the foundations, the powders, the eyeshadows, the mascara, like so much stuff I love from them. But they are bringing out too many goddamn collabs. They have a new one like pretty much each week. They did the Rachel Leary one recently and now they've got one with Roxasaurus. <sighs> Obviously these people are curating these palettes because they're like their ideal palettes together and everything But I just feel like they look so similar all the goddamn time And I've got the Soph palette and that's pretty much all I need That's a really good palette to have from Makeup Revolution I've also got the Tropical Carnival palette by Tammy And that's a really good one because that's got kind of like different colours in it I feel like those two together from Makeup Revolution give you a lot of versatility and you get colorful looks and neutral looks and you can really mix them together but I don't know these other collabs they're just very bronze with maybe a little bit of a pop of color they just don't take my breath away they don't spark my imagination so I know I'm not gonna be buying any of the new palettes from them I'm intrigued by the Jamie face mask though I might try with some of those because they look good and also who doesn't love a face mask I see the watermelon one all over Instagram all the time <laughs> a one mask I'm gonna stay away from though is the facade one that I've seen going around on Instagram. The one that's got like like the blue bead things in it. It looks gross. <laughs> it looks like people are putting frog spawn all over their skin. Uh, it really offends me and I, d I don't know why but it just does. <laughs> also I'm staying away from the like spray thing, the spray oil. I mean I've got oily skin so that's the reason why but I just feel like my face would be a hot mess if I use that. Alright what's next? Do you actually see anyone do that? Licking their finger and turning the page? I just did it for dramatic effect, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, the Jeffree Star Gloss. I'm not a sucker for the packaging. I don't know. It looks a bit odd for me. But also the colours. There's maybe like one colour I would consider getting. Swatches didn't look that good on the website. Like they seem to like settle in to the fine lines of the model's lips, who has great lips. <laughs> I mean, I'm down for it being, you know, a realistic picture of course like don't photoshop the pictures but I don't know it just looked really like milky I think it is a very sheer gloss and it was on bare lips so maybe if you put it over like a liquid lipstick or a lipstick it would be better but yeah it just wasn't really wowed by the glosses and I have very affordable glosses that I really love like the CYO and also the MUA which I'm actually wearing on my lips today and then 19 pounds man 19 pounds for a gloss that is quite up there in price. I know his products aren't ever the most affordable, but damn. I'm steering clear of any Kylie skin. Uh, I know, just something doesn't bode well with me. Okay, I'm gonna rant for a second. Someone who has a lot of money, who clearly has been brought up to look a certain way, clearly gets paid to look a certain way, really looks like they have perfect skin in the first place, who probably has like a lot of facials, a lot of treatments on their face, maybe even a little injection or two. <laughs> for a person like that to come out with a skincare line, it doesn't bode well with me. And if I'm being honest, it kind of annoys me. It's a similar situation where I see people who wear wigs all the time promote hair vitamin gummies. That one. That one annoys me the most and I don't know why. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you want 10 inch hair down to your butt? Take these gummies and you'll see the best results. Or, you know, you can spend 10 grand on a 10 inch weave and then talk to me. <laughs> Hi, Ed Stinkerial here. Looking amazing. 10 inch hair really isn't that long. Nope. <laughs> I'm getting heated in this already. Okay. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> I've never actually tried anything, Kylie, KKW, Beauty, like any of that. It just really doesn't interest me at all. Also another one, the ABH Body Oil. Just looks glittertastic and also looks like it's going to be too dark for my skin. Benefit have just brought out a new powder foundation and a new velvet matte foundation from the Hello Happy line. And they don't hold my shade. <laughs> so I can't really try that foundation. To be fair, they've never really held my shade. I used to have the Hello Flawless foundation. It would pull orange on me and it would be too dark. I made it work previously, but I'm not doing that now, okay? I don't accept it. You should have my shade. That's that's all I'm gonna say. That's, that's the tea that I, you, I'm offended. 
I mean, how hard is it to have a pale shade that's like pretty much almost white? I don't know. The, that's a rant for another day. The Huda Beauty Boss Face. Oh, I've heard mixed things about that. I really don't want to buy it if it's very fragranced, just because uh, you don't need your face to be fragrant. <laughs> Who is that up close to your face that you need it to smell nice? Okay. Also, I find Urban Decay All Night it works for me. I don't need some hairspray. Never gonna come off. Gonna last through your whole hangover kind of face spray. <laughs> also, it's damn expensive. It's literally something you're just gonna spray. Like, it's just gonna float away. How about money? Your girl is getting hot and heated. I need powder. <laughs> something that I really wish I wanted to buy, just because the packaging looks amazing, is the Lion King collection. I'm not sure who that's actually by. I've never heard of the brand before, but I've seen it and it looks so goddamn beautiful but when the palette was opened and everything it was so underwhelming i was just like eh. and also the other products that go with the collection i just was not bothered by if you've been here on my channel before if not hello you guys know i'm like a disney lover like inside and out it is my heart my soul my whole entire being i like i'm obsessed with Disney films and I was so underwhelmed and I was so annoyed. It was just such a meh collection for me. I just can't justify spending the amount of money because I'm pretty sure it's quite expensive as well on products that I'm not gonna use just because they look pretty. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, and finally, uh, I'm not gonna be buying the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics lipsticks. I think nobody should at this point. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration, but you know, there's been a lot of drama around this launch. I'll be honest, I haven't really follow Jaclyn Hill. I've been subscribed maybe once but then I am subscribed a while back because I don't know her makeup's always beautiful but she just wasn't my person you know. It takes a lot for me to subscribe to someone. <laughs> when I watched her launch video I was kind of underwhelmed. <laughs> like the colors all look beautiful but I didn't feel like I had a shade that I actually liked which is weird because she brought out tw like 20 shades of nude out and I didn't really like any of them. <laughs> I think there was one which was amazeballs that I might have liked which was like a very peachy pinky kind of nude but it's kind of pricey and also shipping here would have been extortionate and yeah and then all this controversy has come out and I mean ugh, it is kind of nasty I'm not gonna lie it's not ideal I did watch a video where she you know had the explanation and everything and it was about the labs or whatever but obviously I feel bad for her because she put her like heart and soul into this launch but also I find it weird that this was like a production thing and they weren't doing these things before the mass production started. Uh, I don't know. I don't really have that much of an opinion of it. I'm kind of like indifferent. But yeah, let's hope she gets all that sorted though. People no longer get infections in their lips. Okay, moving swiftly along. <laughs> that is actually it for my list. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more things out there that I'm just not gonna buy. As I said, there's new things every single gosh dang day. I am trying to be smarter with my purchases. I'm trying to save for a house or start saving for a house. <laughs> so I need to be more frugal and that is my worst nightmare. <laughs> anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this little shady auntie haul and I hope you haven't taken any offense by it. Again, no offense to the brands. It's just a lot of my personal preferences to be honest. Do you have something that you're not going to be buying and you're underwhelmed by or anything? Let me know in the comments down below. We can start a little discussion. Once again, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's free and I'd love to have you here to join this little community that we got going on. If you like these kind of videos, then please leave a thumbs up so I know. So I'll do more in the future. This is the first one of its kind on my channel. So it's going to be really helpful if you guys will let me know if you like this or not. And yeah, that is it for this video. Video. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I hope you tune in for the next one. Until then, bye guys! <laughs> the ABH list... The ABH... Oh my god. Words. Obviously these people are like curating the prep. Mm -mm. Come on, give me some volume. She has a few like hints and tips and I make it... Oh.